And now, our final skater in front of the home crowd. Hanyu. In his third consecutive trip to the Grand Prix Final, looking for his first win. Coming off that record-setting score, the highest ever in the short program. Needs to beat 180.25. But this is a skater that has a history of excellent short programs, but faltering in the free skate. Can he finally overcome that obstacle, deviate from that pattern, and lock down a win? User is opening with the quadruple Salco, an element he's had trouble with all season. Whoa, that was a huge jump. I think a little too big to control the landing. You know, User really loves competing in his home country. He gets so energized off of the audience, and sometimes that can get you so overexcited that you just fly into the air without a throwing caution to the wind on the technique. Beautiful quad toe there, though, getting it back. And if he can control the rest of his performance, he has a lot of difficulty planned for the rest of this. But you're right, Johnny, you can see that attack and focus. The great thing about Yuzuru is this season he's just getting better and better and he's had some great highlights, but I really think after the short program yesterday and what we're seeing now, it's taking him to that next level. Chan, it's Chan's to lose at the Olympics, but I think Yuzuru's gonna put up a fight, even though it's really not his time. He could go to another two Olympics. And win. Exactly. Still very young. In fact, celebrating his 19th birthday this weekend at this Grand Prix Final. Artistically, something that's been criticized about Yuzuru is the way he lets his shoulders and upper bodies fall as he's going through his long program. When he gets more tired, he lets those things fall, and it, it makes a very sloppy look, but he's staying nice and upright and straight. His head is straight on, and that's really helping him to give this strong performance. You're right, this is a big difference. Usually by the end of the program, he's giving up points for silly mistakes, but not today. User has been so impressive today. He's kept everything together from start to finish, even with the fall in the opening quad. 
and I really think that technically he's done enough to to hold on to his win and maybe even win the free skate over Patrick Chan, which would be huge this close to the Olympics when everyone was looking at Patrick as though he was unbeatable. And right there, lost it a little bit on the spin. That's what we were talking about. He lets these silly mistakes happen, but overall, that was a fantastic program. All of the men, nothing really grabbed me today. This, chills. I can't wait to see what happens for him the rest of the season. And he's really, he's really <laughs> spent feeling it. But that's the thing about user. He gives everything he has in every performance. And that, that image that we just had of him laying on the ice, breathing heavy, crazy hair, that's not uncommon to us because he does work so hard to give a great performance every time. There was just so much excitement. You could feel the energy. And that's what really was lacking from the other men. But Tara, look at the technical scoring up, the, up there in that little purple box. 103, that's insane. Yeah, I think he's got it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically he's got it. We have to wait for the components, and that's usually where Patrick has him beat. But with that kind of a lead on the technical side and his, his great skating that is comparable to Patrick's, this could be an easy win almost for Yuzuru. And it was great to see a good short program and a good free skate. A lot of times the men get scared after they do a great short, and they come out and they skate fearful of losing the title he didn't well Patrick Chan holds the lead for the moment but we should have some impressive scores from Han Yu coming up when we come back to the PNG ISU Grand Prix of figure skating and now waiting for the scores for the 2012 world bronze medalist Yuzuru Han Yu Yuzuru opened with this quadruple sack and you could see his left side he swung way outside his circle and had so much height you would think he could get it back but he just wasn't able to. But right away he hit this next quad and overall sometimes he gets too much energy going into these jumps and you want them to be easy you want them to feel easy not only for the audience to see that they're easy but you have to feel that they're easy and and this program lots of easy jumps. Wow not only a win but a new personal best total by almost 29 points. Wow, and it's so well deserved. He's so close to the world record that Patrick set just a few weeks ago. And looking ahead to Sochi, this could be what gets him over that hurdle of, of being a, a co-favorite with Patrick. It's gonna be exciting. His free skate score is the second highest ever earned a personal best by almost 17 points as well. So he finally gets his first ever Grand Prix final win.